Good afternoon, my beauties from Disney's Animal Kingdom being joined by this one. As usual, you've seen her before. This is my friend Gage. You've seen him once before. That was months ago. I don't even <laughs> remember exactly when. We're here for some wild fun, if you will. Is that a good way to put it? Yeah, sounds, sure. sounds a little inappropriate, but whatever. Let's go have some fun. Now I will mention, yeah, it's busy as usual, but also it is hot. It's gonna be like, what, 90? I have the exact temperature. Oh boy. Yeah. It is 86 degrees. Oh, <sighs> oh sorry, no, 88, you. sorry. Gross. Either way, it definitely, definitely feels nice to be back at Animal Kingdom. The last time I was here was maybe January? I don't know, it's been a few months. I think naturally the first place we gotta start is Dino Land. And you know, check out a ride that might not be here for much longer. I mean, that's fine. It could leave. Bye. <laughs> I will say, after going on Indy for the first time, I do like it more than Dinosaur, even though the only thing you can really compare between the two is the ride system itself. Do I think Indy is going to be brought over here? Yes. Honestly, Indy is probably the most beautifully themed ride I've ever been on. I think I said that last time. And now we got what could possibly be the final remnants of Dino Land. Granted, they decide to switch this out for Zootopia slash Moana slash Encanto. At this point, I'm literally like, just replace it with something, please. Yeah, in terms of Dinosaur, I'm definitely expecting them to make some sort of announcement as to whether or not this is going to be replaced at D23. Hello there. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me, let's talk about you, and how you can help me make history today with the time it's over. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon, and I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Okay, now let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Skyracosaurus. Not our dino. Oliaramus. That is called cannibalism, my dear children, and is in fact frowned upon in most societies. Time to get serious. Locking autopilot on homing signal now. Hang on. Computer, full stop. Identify. Carnivorous. Definitely, Definitely not, not our, our dino. dino. Go, go, go! Another big guy coming up. Computer. Slow and identify. Sauropod. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. Computer, what's happening? Loss of traction. That's it! Abort mission! Abort! Abort! Iguanodon. Forget it! Get them out now! Asteroid impact. Brace yourself! This is it! They're not gonna make it! They're not gonna make it! Mission accomplished. We made it! I knew you would, and guess who made it back with you? I better find it before security does. Thanks for everything! But see, now you gotta think about this. This might be the last time we ever go on Dinosaur. Good. Good. Bye! Oh my god. <laughs> so rude. That's a good ride. No, I want Indy. Sorry. Indy's better. I mean, don't get me wrong. Again, literally the only thing I would miss from this ride is Dr. Seeker and his comedic timing. So, the next clip is gonna be like, all right guys, we're now walking into Pandora. Funny enough, this is my first time visiting Animal Kingdom, let alone Pandora, with the new camera setup. Anyways, but you know, this one decided to be all inappropriate to talk about that dumb plant. It was not me. My old roommate from like years ago opened Pandora and she had the audacity to tell me it and now I can't unsee it. Like I said before, you know, my vlogs are PG, Ish. Well, at this point, we're basically well into the ish. I mean, with the way we acted at Disneyland. Mm -hmm. That was feral. But also, seven years since Pandora opened. Has it really been that long? Yeah, basically. I was 16 years old, exiting my junior year of high school. Wait, what year was it? 2017. 2017. Oh, I was 16. I was 15, 16. Ah. You know the one thing I miss about Pandora? Huh? 
the actual moving mech suit. You mean the thing that happened during COVID? And we haven't seen it since then? I don't even know if I've ever filmed the mech suit. If I did, it was literally pre-COVID. Now I think it is time we get some food at Satuli Canteen. You know what? I would rank this as probably my number two quick service. My number one quick service will always be Connections. Again, not even because of the food, but just because of the vibe. Because if you go in there at the perfect time when it's completely dead, oh, it's such a great experience. But this place, I would say definitely has the best food out of any <laughs> Disney quick service. Yeah, literally just the vibe in here. I love, and it smells so good in here. Honestly, Gage, I think you're gonna love this place. Oh, I love the vibe of it. We are making our way up here to number five. Awesome. Thank, thank you so much. I got oh, you this. Got it? I oh, got it. Thank you. I try. I try. Oh my God, that looks so good. Looks like Allie made a whoopsie. Yeah. It's fine. Hers has carrots. It's fine, everything's fine. I mean, I could eat them. More food for me. And now the time is to go have a seat because this one is taking forever. <laughs> Sorry. Hope you're happy. I'm so happy about it. They're accommodating your allergies. We love inclusion. We love it. Time to get our drink on. Rotting my brain cells one Diet Coke at a time, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, guys, the combination bowl, it's basically if Disney and Chipotle collided, and it is literally amazing. I've reviewed this dozens of times throughout my journey, and I have nothing but good things to say about it. For instance, the rice. It's good. Then we move on to the chicken and the beef. Also amazing. Definitely improve the recipe as well as the seasoning mix. It's amazing. But then if you mix it with the creamy herb sauce, which by the way, I really wish they would just sell this creamy herb sauce because I would literally put it on anything. This is amazing. This dish gets a 10 out of 10 literally every single time I come out here. And even the coleslaw. Now usually I prefer sweet coleslaw, but the saltiness, and look at that. Allie finally got her plain old noodles. Plain old noodles. The and they gave me the sauce, sauce on the side, no, 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 which is fun. It's literally just ranch with extra seasoning, but he doesn't like ranch. Yeah, because regular ranch tastes disgusting. Same thing. Yeah, whatever. This is literally the perfect dish. Like, it's definitely one of the most unique dishes on Disney property, but for what it is, it is amazing. But, because there's always a but, this is the most expensive Disney quick service. Keep that in mind if you choose to eat here. Are you enjoying your plain old noodles? They're a little dry, but yes. I was about to say, they're not plain anymore. <laughs> yeah, but it's the fact that those are literally just plain old ramen noodles. Yep, it's fine. Well, from my end, it is dessert time. So we got the Met Kayana Moose. Now, I told y'all in the past about how both desserts are amazing. You're not making a bad choice regardless, but I think I did have the blueberry cream cheese mousse last time. So, of course, we got switched up. I will say, though, this chocolate is Disney chocolate, which means it is rich. So if you do not like rich chocolate, do not get this. Literally 10 out of 10. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Again, can rich chocolate. Leaf? Can you have the leaf? Yeah, absolutely the leaf? you can. Good leaf. Good leaf. Look at that, it's amazing. It's thick. It's thick. It is thick boy. Why, thank you. All right, kiddos, Satuli Canteen review. Amazing. Good. You know, only after I got my food. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, because you know, you just have to have allergies. I know. Like, why me? It was great. I got a kid's meal. It looked good. Oh, it was great. Yeah, like I said, I have nothing but good things to say about Satuli Canteen. Like, I literally cannot recommend it enough. As we make our way down the path, we're going to go on. Navi! Engage has never been on I'm it! I'm so excited. Oh, you're going to love this one. It's great. I've seen videos, so I know a little bit.
What'd you think? Oh, I loved it. Cool, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably the most beautiful water ride. Yeah, and it was so just immersive. Like, it felt... That's what, one thing that I love about this. You're in there. It like literally feels like you're there. Yeah. I was going to say, you know, while Allie goes on about her book fandom, uh, we're going to go on Kilimanjaro Safaris. So what we think of the safari? It was cute. Oh, it was great. Um, I probably the, the yeah, no, literally the most intense oh. safari I've ever been on. I'm like yeah. my god, I love dinosaur. Like I literally no, fell out of the jeep. It was fine. It was so aggressive at points. I was like, what is happening? No, you know what exactly it was? It had the same energy as the tour guide. Hey, Ali, you want to go see feathered friends in flight? Not even if you paid me to do it. Okay, so if I paid you a million dollars, you still wouldn't? If you have a million dollars to pay me to watch that, fine. What if I paid you a million dollars and then had them make a bird land on your head? Nope. Oh my god, y'all remember Rivers of Light? I watched it once and I thought it was the most boring show on the planet. I thought it was amazing. Nope. I mean, I also watched it once, but I thought it was cool. Yeah. It has literally gotten to the point where this lagoon is practically abandoned. Like, I remember during COVID, they used it as a relaxation station, but now it literally just sits there. Yeah, I remember Kite Tales. Actually, no. I never got to see it. Disney's biggest failure. The idea was cool, it but sense. it just did not work given the Florida weather. No. The actual kites themselves were beautiful. They looked awesome, but just given how unpredictable Florida weather is, yeah, it was not a good idea. All right, what are we about to go on next? Everest. 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 Hey, when was the last time you were on this? Oh my gosh, years ago. I don't even know how many. Oh. oh. <laughs> You know what? We actually haven't done any shopping in a while. So where where y'all? Get it? All right, get in, losers. We're going shopping. Oh, there's that jersey that I'm so fond of. I like ours better than the Disneyland. Though. See, I like the Disneyland D better. Oh no! It's Star. And the Valentino. Valentino. Oof. It's lighter than I thought. Look how cute he is. He did the little baby. See, look here's Star. You ready? You gotta catch it. Whoa! You got a star. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> you got a stars. Yeah. Stars. Oh my gosh, you still have them. Oh my god, it's so soft. It's it's so soft. It. I have the white version of that. It's so squishy. And look, they got a little chubby. He's the, the chubby baby. Chubby baby. Don't, got don't, it, don't got it. Him. I caught him. Alright, I think we're gonna go into Island Mercantile. I already see new stuff. I love that. Oh, that button up? Yeah, it's great. Okay, this is cool. That's actually really cute. Guys. It's also very thin. There's a look with them walking. Aww. That's so cute. That is cute. Look, they got weighted Simba. He's adorable. He's so soft and foofy. Now, if there is one thing that I absolutely cannot go without when I'm at Animal Kingdom, it is an eye blossom. Right? Yes. Right? It's good. But also, do you know what Pongu Pongu means? No. It means party party. That makes sense. So we're going party party. <laughs> All right, we got our night blossoms. It's time to party. Party party. Cheers. Even though and, it's no uh, alcohol cheers. here. Yep, exactly. I don't know why, but I've been craving one of these. And literally still just as good as ever. Now, is it my favorite drink? No. The boba, I think it's mango. The watermelon cucumber slushy. That is my all time favorite Disney drink. And like always, it's now time to close up with the best ride in Animal Kingdom. And again, I just cannot get over the fact that Pandora has been open for seven years now. That's insane to me. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're gonna have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi Rite of Passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. The way you're gonna do this is by being matched to something called an Avatar, and I'm here to help you guys get ready. Okay, um, first we need to find the compatible match of your genetic material with the genetic material of one of the Avatar bodies that we already have. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. Ooh, looks like they're ready for you in the next room. Uh, when the door opens, please go inside all the way in and stand over the same number that you're standing over now. And Okay, here's something to think about. Flight of Passage being classified as a water ride? 
<laughs> yeah, I think now it probably could be. Literally, the little jets that spray you with water literally sprayed me like a toy water gun. Literally, the back of my phone was soaked. Honestly, it probably affected the camera quality, so I do apologize in advance for that. I don't even know what happened. I mean, Ali's seat was vibrating pretty aggressively. Bro, because my, my chair was also making noise. Well, so that wasn't a joke, that was a fact. Oh, it was making a really concerning noise, not gonna lie. You know, think about this. It's only 5.46 and we've basically done everything in like four and a half hours. Yeah, that was impressive. I'm proud of us. I am proud of us. Yeah, I am very proud. Y'all remember last year when I rode every ride here? I think I did that. Yeah, in just about four and a half hours. Well, my beauties, that's gonna wrap it up for this little vlog at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Thank you to Allie, she's always here, but thank you to Gage for coming out and oh, having yeah. some fun with us today. So as always, if y'all enjoy today's vlog, make... <laughs> At this point, she, she literally does it because she knows it ticks me off. Alrighty, my beauties, I love y'all. Take care, and I'll see y'all next time.